we citizens who embrace and strive toward equality recognize that the worldwide problem of violence against women occurs even here in Cheyenne, Wyoming. And whereas gender violence is traumatic to the body, mind, and spirit, and can prevent people from being fully active participants at home and in the world. And whereas the health of parents and caregivers is critical to the overall health and well-being of their families and the larger community. And whereas gender violence costs the nation billions of dollars annually in medical expenses, police and court costs, shelters and foster care, sick leave, absenteeism, and non-productivity. And whereas we recognize the gains that have been made in ending gender violence. And whereas, in spite of the progress that has been made, we need only to look at our newspapers or watch a television newscast to see the unfortunate truth that gender violence has not yet been eliminated here in Cheyenne nor around the world. And whereas, the Zonta Club of Cheyenne, Triumph High School Z Club, and a partnership of Cheyenne organizations have come together to raise awareness, stimulate discussion, and advocate for local solutions that will curb gender violence. And whereas these local groups join thousands of other groups from around the world in asserting that the right of women and men to be free of violence is a fundamental right. So now, therefore, I, Marion J. Orr, the mayor of the city of Cheyenne, to hereby proclaim the 16 days between International Day to Eliminate Gender Violence Against Women on November 25th and International Human Rights Day on December 10th as the 16 days of activism against gender violence. During these 16 days, all citizens are urged to support those who work to end gender violence and to participate and learn about the detrimental consequences gender violence has on the well-being of our community. So in witness thereof, I hereunto set my hand and cause the seal of the city of Cheyenne to be affixed this 25th day of November 2015 organization that has empowered women and girls through service and advocacy for a hundred years. And whereas Zonta International was founded in 1919 in Buffalo, New York by a group of forward-thinking women who were not satisfied with the predominantly social nature of many women's organizations. And whereas Zonta's founders envisioned a women's service organization that would advocate for laws and policies that ensure gender equity and help every woman and girl realize her full potential. And whereas Zonta International is a non-governmental organization which has attained prestigious general consultative status with the Economic and Social Council of the United Nations. And whereas Zonta International promotes and strives to protect the human rights of all women and girls and reduce the incidences of violence against them. And whereas Zonta, since 1923, has provided more than $40.9 million to empower women and expand their access to education, health care, economic opportunities, and safe living conditions. And whereas Zonta's nearly 1,200 clubs support local and regional initiatives in 63 countries worldwide. So now, therefore, I, Marion J. Orr, the mayor of the city of Cheyenne, do hereby proclaim November 8th, 2019, as Zonta International Centennial Anniversary in the city of Cheyenne. So again, in witness thereof, I hereunto set my hand and cause the seal of the city of Cheyenne to be affixed this 20th day of November 2019. <laughs>